cute Norwegian little town. I'm pretty sure it's quite similar to the rest of little towns you will probably find all around Norway. First of all, I want to show you this little place where I spent two amazing years of my life. And second, if you're planning to move to Norway, you should know that in every single town, in every city here, basic things are going to be pretty much the same. And in this video, I would like to help you to get familiar with your new home faster. And after this video, if you're planning to move to Norway or you just planning to travel to Norway, you will know where to buy some basic things when you arrive here. So, let's take a little walk around. Let's go! This is a historical mining town. This city is located on the river Numidalslagen at the entrance to the valley Numidal. It has been a center of silver mining, arms production and forestry for centuries and the site of high technology industry, including the headquarters of Norway's largest defense constructor. As every single town in Norway, it has its own football field, which looks like a nice ring this time of the year, but summertime it is a football field. Believe me. I bet it also has its own police station, which I never visited. So let's skip that part and go right to the town center. As every single town in Norway it has several supermarkets all around this area, but about those supermarkets I will tell you more in my next video, so not to miss it out, consider subscribing to this channel. And of course, as any other town, it has its shopping center, which looks a little bit strange if you're coming from a big city like London or Moscow, but in fact, it actually does a job very well. Let's have a look what's inside. Definitely one of my favorite shops in Norway. selection of personal care and beauty products, shampoos, creams, even chocolate. Prices are amazing guys and so many British brands. I was loving this shop for two years. Everything you might need for the house, like the bulbs or the batteries, even kitchen stuff, or even small electric electronic devices, really handy. Even if you decide you want to start playing the guitar, the shop will help you. DIY is extremely important in Norway. This is what I already told you in one of my previous videos. And shops like this, and especially when they are in the city center, they are vital. When you find out the price of the plumber in Norway for one hour services, well, you will learn how to fix the pipes yourself very fast. That's amazing. It's an actual toolbox. Wow. Okay, so this is the exact place where I got my heat retainers, gloves and the socks before I went to the Arctic Circle and also heating pads you need to put inside your gloves to prevent your hands from getting cold. Here where they are. That's thermal socks to keep your feet warm and also this is vital guys if you're planning to come to Norway winter time this is hand warmers disposables so it's a pack of six of those you need to put them inside your gloves or inside your socks and your hands and feet will stay warm I checked them quite a few times in the Arctic Circle guys they work Enchanté. 
And of course, I could never miss cloth shopping. H&M. H&M was actually invented in Sweden. Thank you so much, Swedish cousins, for keeping great price even for Norway. Here you can basically find anything you need started from normal clothing, seasonal clothing, jackets, some things for underwear, your gym gear, and even some cosmetics. You can find here all the items for men, women, and even the kids. Amazing place, guys. Also highly recommended. The prices are great, and you can find anything you possibly need. There are some other clothing shops around, but I personally find H&M prices and selection the best one here. And of course, I could never, never ever forget this place. Thank you so much, thank you. I know that six dollars coffee might sound like a little bit too much, but in this case, you have to try Norwegian coffee. Norwegian coffee chain Espresso House. It's similar to Starbucks, but it is local. And Norwegian coffee is amazing, guys. If you are the same coffee lover as I am, you will appreciate it a lot. And it's not only about the coffee in this chain. The coffee is fantastic, no words, but also the atmosphere here, guys. It's so cozy and relaxing. I actually tend to work a few times a week in this amazing place. Very cozy and comfortable, lots of options, blankets, and a great Wi-Fi. And the coffee is great. <laughs> The town center seems quite compact, but in fact you can find anything you might think of right here. It's the major shopping center, some other clothing shops, the pharmacy, banks, real estate agency and even the only fast food in town, Subway. Even the art gallery is here, right behind me. And this is as busy as it gets. It's Saturday midday. Did he get here? Oh my god, he looks so huge for this place. One of my favorite parts of this city, my jogging route. Can you recognize it? Yeah, that's the one from that video and this video also. It's a little bit of an ice skating this time of the year though, so I will not be taking a risk and go any further from here. It is quite challenging, even for jogging this time of the year. No grit, super slippery. This town was developed as a mining city on the basis of its silver mines. Founded by and named after King Christian VI, the king of Denmark and Norway in 1624. The king invited the engineers from Germany and other specialists from Saxony and the Harz region to help him build a mining company. In the first years, more than a half of population of this city were German immigrants and the majority of engineers and other executives were German immigrants also. Well into the 19th century, becoming a distinct social class calling mining families that formed an educated social elite in contrast to the Norwegian farming population. By the 18th century, Kongsberg became the second largest city in Norway 
after Bergen. Unfortunately, it gradually lost its importance to other cities by the 19th century, particularly to rapidly growing that time Christiania, the capital of Norway. Today we know it as Oslo. The silver mines was closed in 1958, after 334 years of operation. And today it's just a silver mining museum and also one of the major attractions of this place to the tourists. The current population of the silver town is 27,000 people and 227 of them are British. Having several interesting companies working with oil and gas, space and other important industries in the world, this town actually attracts lots of experts together with their family. Here you can find lots of nationalities from all over the world. Unfortunately, during current global situation, lots of experts together with their family had to leave this place and go back home. But hopefully soon the situation will be changed and those families will be back. Let me tell you something. I will actually miss this little town when it's my time to leave and I have a feeling I might be coming back from time to time when I feel tired from big city life. And maybe I'm leaving this town but this town will always stay right in my heart. You know, guys, I feel like I have three hometowns. Moscow, where I was born physically, London, where I was made professionally, and Kongsberg, where I became YouTuber, where my channel, this channel, was actually born. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my video about my home city in Norway. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. And as our tradition goes, I will see you next week. Stay safe, guys. Be happy. And you know, I love you so much. Bye. See you later. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.